Well, how y'all doing today? It's Papa again. <laughs> today is going to be part four on the Harbor Freight trailer build. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put me some side rails on this thing. So maybe I ain't so skittish about uh, riding my lawnmower up here on this trailer. Um, I had a lot of response, people telling me, Papa, back up onto the trailer don't pull up and uh even had one old boy he said shoot you use them ramps you'll end up flexing and, and bowing that trailer and bending it I'm trying to sound fat <laughs> but anyway uh all kidding aside I, I i mean the whole time i planned on putting some uh sideboards on it well i'm going to show you my idea today uh it might not jive with what you think is the way to do it, but yeah, that's all right. You do things your way, I'll do things my way. But uh, let's just get right into it. One of the things, I, uh, a little helpful hint I wanted to show you in case you weren't aware or never even crossed your mind or maybe you're going to get your little chop saw and for the first time. What I want to point out to you is if you'll look at, I know this is long distance. I've got two pieces of two before sitting right there. And they are actually the same height, real, real close to the same height as the bed of my chop saw. So these two two by fours are gonna sit over here off to the side. And when I'm using this chop saw to cut up some two by fours, for my uprights, that's going to keep my my eight foot two before trying to do this. As I'm trying to lay it out up there on that saw, so uh, I get over here. I'm on, I bought two eight foot two befores, and I'm going to cut them into pieces right at two foot long. It'd be a little bit shy because you got your blade, you know, you curve your blade. So I'm probably going to cut them. Uh, one foot, 11 and seven, eight inches, something like that. But anyhow, I'm gonna cut them into equal equal lengths and they'll be the upright, uprights for my uh, side rails. We'll be back in just, uh, I reckon I, I'll show, you, show me cutting one of them. Yeah, pretty good out there, I reckon. are about a half inch too long so that means I'm going to be able to cut my two footers out of my eight footers and have a uh, and have enough wood instead of worrying about cutting them short First thing I'm gonna cut is I'm gonna square up the end because when it comes raw from the mill, the end of your board isn't necessarily perfectly square. I just barely cut any anything off the edge there just to make sure I got it got it square. Now I'm not going to measure every one of them. I'm going to use one as a pattern. And that way they'll all be the same. Make sure when you're using your, make sure when you're using your pattern and you make your pencil mark, that when you go to cut, 
make sure your saw blade makes that pencil mark disappear or your pieces will grow. So now I've got my four uprights, or two, four, six, eight uprights, and uh, we'll go to the next step, and that's putting the five quarter boards on. Be right back. The two befores don't fit. You try to stick a two before in here, and it won't fit. And Oh, you, what you could do is you could, you know, shave this down, take out your knife and whittle it and all that kind of stuff and make it work. But what if I decide to stick a different tube before in at a different time? So, what I do here is I have been loosening these bolts to give me a little bit of room and hopefully get that bracket to spread apart a little bit and it's worked so far and the idea being that if I put a tube before in there like I said it don't matter if it's this that I'm using today or one I use a year from now I want a tube before to fit in there so what I'm doing is I'm just encouraging that bracket to open up a little bit. I also figure if I've got a good tight fit like that, that we ain't got to worry about these things bouncing loose. And boy, I tell you what, I sure do like this old hat out here in the sun. One of the boys asked me, he said, he said, boy, it's a fine looking hat you got there. And I said, well, it used to be. Uh, this is the hat I got in Mitchell Con. Mexico and uh, it's the same one that I talked about when two fools met on an airplane. A woman wanted to buy it from me because she wanted to wear it to the horse show in Shelbyville and I wouldn't sell it to her. No amount of money. Found out after I got here if I'd had 50 of them I could have sold them all. But, uh, this hat is what they use down there in Mexico to work out in the fields. It's, uh, made out of wheat straw. And it's like 15 degrees cooler under a big old hat than it is, just say a baseball cap. I call it my, mi sombra portable, my portable shade. <laughs> I've got it's on there tight too. I reckon what I'd do is I'd recommend you make them darn brackets fit your two befores before you bolt them brackets on. It's a little bit aggravating after it's already on the trailer, only because it's a little aggravating to tighten the nuts and bolts up whenever you gotta lay underneath it, so. Anyway, 
I'll be back after I get all these uprights in, then we'll start putting our sideboards on. Now, sometimes when you get older, you get wiser. And sometimes when you get older, you just can't think straight. And sometimes you might go around doing something way, way more complicated than you have to make it. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this side rail on over there first. And the first thing I did is I took my framing square and I made sure that my uprights, those two uprights, were perpendicular to the trailer, okay? So they are going to look straight whenever the trailer is in use. And I've got two cordless drills sitting there. One has a drill bit in it to drill a pilot hole. And the other has a Phillips head bit to drive a screw. Now my final, final assembly is going to be carriage bolts, just like I did in the floor. But I want to get this thing put together just with the Phillips head screws. And then I will remove them one at a time. And that also acts as a pilot hole for me to drill to run my, uh, my carriage bolts. So let me, get, let me get this first board in place. Okay, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some screws in the boards that are running across on the tongue end just so I can have me something to go off of to keep my side board on the long side straight. It was throwing me off just trying to set it up and, and sight down it. It's difficult to do. So, by Putting my boards across on the front, that's going to give me a wall to butt up against and hopefully make this make this uh, turn out nice and smooth. We'll see.
Well, it's gonna look something like that. I think I'm gonna find me a cold drink. It's hot out here. Well, it's another day. As you can tell, I got a different shirt on, different, different clothes. Uh, when I finished up that side there, I had to go do the family thing. It's my wife's birthday. So I got that out of the way now. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just duplicate that side right here. I'm not gonna bother filming that because it's just a, a repeat. And then we'll get into what I'm doing up here on the uh, on the tongue end and on the back end. So bear with me. I'll be back in just a second for you. Probably an hour more for me, slow as I am. Well, all right, we got the other side of the trailer done. And I'm going to start on the boards on the front and the back. Uh, they will measure precisely 48 inches each. And... That'll help me with any of the boards on these sides that are bowing a little bit. Maybe I can make them <laughs> straighten up a little bit. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, here's the trailer uh, with the other side on it. And it's really simple to do. Uh, I'd like to explain to you why I chose to do it in that manner. Uh, by dropping that bottom board all the way down onto the trailer, I, I had a straight line. And then by setting the, the second board on top of the bottom one, I had a straight line. And because I cut the two befores all the same length and drove them all down snug and as far as they're supposed to go into the brackets, the top of the two befores gave me a straight line. So I decided to just go ahead and run my, uh, run my top board flush with the top of the uh, two befores. And this gives me a way I can run a rope in between and around and all that kind of stuff for tying stuff in place. I didn't see any reason to raise that middle board up and try to split the difference. Lots of times you'll have some stuff that you don't necessarily want blowing around and, and having that extra uh, area right down there on the, on the bottom to sort of keep the wind out can sometimes help. Anyway, like I said in the beginning, this is my way of doing it, and and uh, you know I'm sure I'm sure you've got your your way of doing things as well. But like I said, we'll we'll see what happens when we get done.
in three Americans that are over 65 fall every year in the U.S. And that fall may be the last. Don't be a statistic. Press 1 now to receive a medical alarm at no cost. Good afternoon, my name is Keith and my medical alert response number is 4781. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? The man you called. How is the man I called doing today, please? You having a good day, sir? Good day, good day. Beautiful day. Sun's shining, birds are singing. Out here working in the garden. Oh, it's a pretty day. Well, I'm glad to hear that, sir. Well, I guess he hung up, some bitch. I was gonna mess with him. <laughs> oh well. Maybe the do not call uh, registry flashed up in front of him. Who knows? All right. Anyway, as you can see there, we got the we got the front done, and now then, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a a marker or a pen or something. And I'm gonna mark right down here. Right above that oops, right above that bracket all the way around. Because I'm gonna to have to shave that down a little bit, sand that down a little, because I don't wanna be fighting. I don't wanna be fighting that tight ass fit in order to get my uh, uh, tailgate out. So so that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm just gonna take like a Sharpie or something. I'm gonna mark around that and uh, get them out and shave them down some. Now it looked like it come out pretty easy by itself, but that's because I was able to wiggle it. If it's on a tailgate, I can't wiggle it like that. All right, well, I'll be back in a minute. Well, all right. I just took that little four and a half inch angle grinder and I just sanded off part of this around like that right there. And now then, we shouldn't have any trouble Lifting the tailgate in and out. We'll come back after I've got these boards screwed in place. Be kind of rude staring with my butt towards you. Well, everybody has their version of the Harbor Freight trailer, and that one's mine. Now what I plan to do is everywhere I put screws, well each board is going to have each board is going to have two bolts just like on on the floor but on every upright every board I have two bolts in it so there'll be six bolts per vertical two by four and uh, what I did is I put it together there with screws make it quick make sure it's the way I want it and then uh, now then I'll drill holes and put bolts then I'll pull the screws and put bolts where the screws were all right well I, uh, I appreciate so much y'all watching my videos uh, I'm not going to bore you to tears me putting bolts in a darn thing y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow bye